everyone. Um, I would like to welcome you once again to our series, uh, Jingoers Around the World. Uh, and today I have with me my colleague Abu Bakar, and we are going to talk about uh, what he's doing at Jingo and his experience from working in a distributed team. Uh, so welcome Abu Bakar, and thank you very much for taking the time. Would you maybe like to briefly introduce yourself and tell us what we are doing at Jingo? My name is Abu Bakar Sambo. I'm a software engineer at Jimdo, and I am based fully in Nigeria, and I work remotely from Jim, for Jimdo from Nigeria, so that's cool. Uh, I work at the, on the website builder group team, and essentially what we do is we're in charge of the flow of the user in terms of when they're from the beginning when they create a website, and being able to provide features that keep them using Jimdo in terms of retention and whatnot, so... Yeah, that's what I do here, Jinda. Great, that sounds exciting. Then I will start directly with my first question, and I would be curious to know what was the reason for you to decide to work in a distributed company? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I think for me, one of the most important things is Obviously, I enjoy software engineering. I enjoy working at great companies, and Jimdo obviously is a great company. But I think one thing that was important for me was doing the work that I love and also being in an environment that I know when I'm aware of where my family is and just being able to kind of do those two things was important for me. So working in a distributed team when the opportunity arose was almost a no-brainer for me. And I think that's the main reason why I jumped at the opportunity when I got it with Jimdo. Yeah, that makes sense completely. And could you maybe also describe to us uh, what did your first day at Trindle look like during your onboarding? Yeah, for sure. So I think, I mean, even right before the first day, just <clears throat> a few days before, I remember just being a bit, not apprehensive, but just a bit worried and whatnot. Oh, how is it gonna, gonna, how is it gonna go? You kind of want everything to go smoothly. And it went much, much, much better than I even thought because I remember in the first day, right after I joined the Slack, I already had a message waiting for me from my mentor. So yeah, Mathis and Mario that were already on the team that I was joining, they both reached out to me. I had meetings with them and yeah, they answered every question that I had. It was such a seamless transition that I absolutely loved it. And I remember from a software perspective, I already started contributing code in the first few days because of how comfortable I already felt and whatnot. So that was pretty great for me. I definitely enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. that sounds definitely amazing. And I am sure that uh, besides uh, your mentor, who is always somebody from the engineering in your case, then I am sure that you also had a buddy to help you with more general questions, right? Yes, exactly. I had a buddy who was really, really great too. And so all the non-engineering related questions, just things related to admin, who to contact and whatnot. She was always there to answer all of those things. And I remember she just set up coffees where we would meet up and talk for like 20, 30 minutes and she would answer all of the questions that I had. So that was definitely really great too. I definitely enjoyed that. Yeah, I also had a buddy when I started and I'm also a buddy myself for people to start at Jingo. So I always find it very exciting to meet new people and show them around, even if it is virtually. Uh, which brings yeah. me to the next uh, question, basically. And of course, it's different if you work in the office, you are face to face with your, with your colleagues. So you can just stand your head around, ask them something. And then it's completely different when you are working completely remotely and everything takes place virtually. Uh, so I would be curious to know, how do you handle this situation? For example, when you have a creative idea, a new idea that you would like uh, to discuss with your team, how do you proceed with that? That's definitely one of the drawbacks of remote work where it's not like, for example, you take a water break and then you have colleagues that you can just physically talk to and rub things off of. So I think with the remote, it's a bit more challenging and sometimes you kind of have to, so sometimes what I do is I'll just message them and set up a meeting in their calendar. But I think one of the great things with Slack is the huddle feature. So depending on if they're free at the moment, you can just send someone a message and just hop on a huddle real quick. And I think a lot of times that works for me where um, if they're not in a meeting or they have some free time, we can just set up a huddle and that's usually the closest thing. I think we have to just talking to people, but yeah, I think the huddle for me is always how I just am able to contact people immediately and just uh, bounce things off of them. Yeah, that sounds good. And can I ask how well do you feel that you know your four co-workers uh, also, let's say, on a more personal level? 
So particularly with my team, uh, with the website Builder Group, one thing that we definitely do is every two weeks, we have like a social coffee where we just all hop on Zoom and we play some trivia games and whatnot. So we kind of just don't even talk any words. So it's always just, um, it's always just fun and just chatting about our personal lives and whatnot. I mean, aside from that also, I think with a couple of team members, we just set up one-on-ones that we just talk about things not related to work at all. So I think I've gotten to know people a bit well. Something funny though, is that within the team, there's a running joke where, because some of us are fully distributed. So there's a running joke where the people who we haven't met physically are not really real. And they're just like computer simulations. Cause I've never met anyone physically. And for all they know, I might just be like a computer program in Nigeria, right? But yeah, so there's that. Hopefully I'm gonna travel one day and we're gonna all meet up with everyone and grab a coffee. Yeah, that, that sounds great. So yeah. I guess, yeah, the joke totally makes sense. Okay, great. Yes, I would like to thank you once again, Abu Bakar. So it was very nice discussing with you your experience uh, at Shindon. And talk to you soon. For sure. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.